Hey everyone, Ollie here. So it's quite common that we tend to prefer to live and work in cleaner, tidier environments than those that are messy. I'm obsessed with keeping a tidy workspace. If you've seen any of my previous videos or follow me on Instagram, you'll see how clean and tidy I keep things. I truly believe that having an organized workspace helps with my productivity and creativity. And there are even several scientific studies that show that there's a correlation between cleanliness, productivity, and positive mental health and physical health. There's actually a study by a research scientist from Indiana University that found people who have clean houses are generally healthier than people who don't. They studied nearly a thousand people and found those who kept their homes clean were generally more active than those who didn't and at less risk of heart disease. I have personally found that having a messy desk just stresses me out a little bit. I don't know what it is. It's just, it just isn't comfortable to me. And it's not really mess when it comes to having things on the desk. It's more just mess that shouldn't belong there. For example, like empty plates, empty food wrappers, things like that. I hate having that sort of stuff on the desk. I don't mind having books and sort of my tech and stuff on the desk. That makes sense. But it's just other sort of unnecessary mess that really sort of stresses me out. I, I hate it. I always try and get rid of it and keep my workspace organized. So the best way I found to manage mess and sort of keep my workspace tidy is to set aside time each day just to keep it tidy whether it be at the beginning or at the end of the day. I try and set aside five minutes to remove anything from the desk, put things where they belong, dust down the desk if I have to. A general rule that I have is that if something takes less than five minutes, I try and get it done right there and then. Five minutes really isn't long. Spending five minutes each day just to do something over time, doing five minutes every single day really adds up. Then you don't have to come to the end of the week or the end of the month where all this mess has just piled up and it just makes it even more daunting to handle. So this is my office workspace. I do have a separate workspace at home, but this is my current office setup. And as you can see, it is pretty tidy and pretty clean. And that's the way I like to keep it. Everything has its place. Oh, I can already tell the desk mat isn't straight. Let's straighten that up. But yeah, I like to have everything very well organized. That's just my sort of vibe. I have my sideboard over here on the left, my office chair, laptop, headphones, speakers, Pro Display XDR, water bottle, keyboard, mouse. But yeah, there just isn't anything really unnecessary. I do have a side cabinet down here as well on wheels, which is quite useful to sort of um, put things away basically. But yeah, I try and keep my workspace just very organized, as organized as I possibly can. It's what works for me and keeps me productive. I don't like having clutter on the desk. I really, really don't like it. I only wanna have the essentials so that I can focus on the task that I have going on right now. Some of you do ask, how do I keep my desk dust free? And I just have a microfiber cloth that I have from Amazon. And yeah, it gets rid of like, you can see fingerprints and stuff here. Just gets rid of them. Easy to wipe down as well. And these are pretty cheap, pretty affordable. This is a black one from Amazon. And yeah, I just wipe everything down. Keeps it really nice and clean. And yeah, just easy. We as humans love order and organization. It's why we love watching videos of people who organize stuff. It's why there's Pinterest boards full of just absolute ton of images where people have just organized stuff and have their home, workspace, kitchen, whatever it is organized. It's just really satisfying to see it all. A study from 2009 found that the stress hormone cortisol was higher in those whose environment was cluttered. There's also another study that found sleeping in cluttered bedrooms is more likely to lead to sleep problems, such as difficulty falling asleep. These studies show that clutter is literally bad for your brain and your well-being. I also wanted to thank Masterworks for sponsoring this video. As most of you are already aware, I love my art and design, but I recently discovered that art has been an asset class with amazing risk adjusted returns. In fact, contemporary art prices have outpaced the S&P 500 by 168% from 1995 to 2022. On top of that, data shows it has no correlation to any other major asset class. So there's this awesome place called Masterworks, a platform that lets you invest in fine art. You can invest in masterpieces by famous artists such as Banksy, Andy Warhol, and Picasso for a fraction of the cost. Masterworks leverages data and their experienced team to identify art that they think will appreciate in value. Then Masterworks acquires these paintings ranging from $1 million to $30 million and securitizes them allowing you to buy shares of multi-million dollar paintings as easily as you would buy shares of Tesla or Amazon. You can either wait for the artwork that you've invested in to be sold for a profit, or what's super cool is that if you want to access your money earlier, you can sell your shares through the secondary market to another member. And the numbers speak for themselves. They provided a 32% return for investors in 2020 and a 31% return in 2021. Over 300,000 people have already signed up, but there is a wait list. However, if you use my link in the description below, you can skip the wait list and start investing as soon as possible. 
everything does have its own place. It's why I have this side cabinet thing here. I have a sideboard over there for putting away things. These are mainly just to organize stuff. So if we have a look at the inside of this thing, we can see it's pretty well organized. Well, for me anyway, <laughs> I have this little drawer thing on the top that moves, which is very useful. It has some essentials here like lip balm, a little cutting thing, toothpick, sunglasses and pen and whatever else. And then underneath, I have my headphones in here. These are my wide headphones that I use for editing video. And then I also have this thing, which is again from Ikea. And it's just like a drawer organizer. Cables, microfiber cloths and stuff. Anything else I wanna put in there. I also have a box in there, which contains some other random cables and stuff, not really too interesting. If we put this back in here, like so. And then there's actually a shelf in here, which has another sort of organizer thing felt organizer i don't actually use this yet i haven't found anything to put in there yet but that will be used at some point and then on top we have a wooden tray from ulxstore.com some hand cream because my hands do get dry and a lens so yeah pretty nice having that gives me quick access to things that i need whenever i need them and then if we move over to the sideboard over here so this sideboard again is pretty well organized in here I just have boxes and things. So this sideboard usually has stuff that I don't need access to all the time. So yeah, just other random things in here as well. We open this one up. I have a PC case in here <laughs> that I'm not using. Other random stuff like cables, boxes and books and things. And then in here, again, just another, if I move everything over, oh, like so, there we go. Yeah, just more boxes and stuff all organized there's like iphone boxes and ipad boxes and other forms of organization just me putting things away and yeah this sideboard here is just used for things that i don't always need access to that i can come back to whenever i need to later on um, and it's really nice walnut marble and stuff I have books and stuff on top as well um yeah pretty useful and then if we go underneath the desk like so let me brighten this up as well so you can see I have cable management all sorted as best as I possibly can anyway. Um, you know, so many cables, it still looks a bit of a mess, but it was much messier before, trust me. <laughs> I have the cables attached to the leg with um, Velcro zip ties, Velcro cable ties. And then I have this fully cable management tray, which just holds cables, power strip for everything else, like my laptop and the monitor and stuff, um, all in there. And yeah, that's my cable management. Pretty simple, pretty easy, nothing too crazy. Um, the main thing is the cables don't get in the way when I have the desk go up and down and they don't get tangled up in my feet. Now, I'm not saying that everything needs to be super organized and tidy. It really isn't the end of the world if you have a messy desk. For some people, having a messy desk could actually increase productivity and creativity. Having that disorder in itself could be a form of inspiration. There have been some famous workspaces that are not that tidy. The most famous one that I can think of is the Steve Jobs one of his home office. He has stuff on the floor, he has stuff on his desk, his shelves seem like such a mess, but clearly this workspace worked for him. I think what's most important is finding a mix of organization and sort of messiness that really works for you. Don't feel pressured that to be productive, you have to have an organized workspace, a very sort of organized and clean space to work in or live in or whatever. For me personally though, having a tidy workspace, having an organized workspace is what helps me stay productive, it's what helps me stay creative. It's really what works for me, but like I said, Whatever works for you, works for you, and it's what you should do to make yourself more productive and more creative. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment below of organization in the comment. I just wanna see who got to the end of the video. It's just nice to see who got to the end. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and subscribe for more.